Hello friends, welcome to tutorials point. In this tutorial, we will see how we can add a variable to a modeling view in SAP HANA. So, first of all, let's connect to the SAP HANA system. After that, we will go to the content folder where we have all the packages and then we will go to the analytical view where we want to create the parameter or variable. So once we will open up the view, we have to go to the semantics and under semantics we have the tab for the parameters and variables. So first of all what is the use of the parameters and variables? So whenever the user will run the query from any of the view in SAP HANA, if we do not give any parameter or variable to that query, so complete data will be returned to the user to whatever filters the developer has defined in the view. But let's say if we want to provide the flexibility to the user to choose the value at the runtime, in that scenario we have to create the variable. So if we click on this plus sign here, it will open up the window where we have to create the variable. So my variables, they are used as an explicit SQL filter directive for the view consumers to filter the view data based on the attribute column values which we will specify in this window. So first of all, let's give the name to this variable. So let's say if I give the name as test underscore EMP name. So in the label, if we click, it will automatically take the name of the variable, but we can change it if we want. After that, it shows like to which view or the table for the value help, like which view it will use for the value. Then it has the attribute. So here we have to specify the attribute where we want to, which we want to give as a parameter. So if we go to this drop down, we will be able to see the attributes which exist in this particular HANA view. So let's say if I want to give it on the employee name. After that we have this selection type. So in the selection type we can give it as a single value wherein the user can select one value at a time. We can give it as an interval where the user can select the interval and then we have the range. So we can use any of these three as a selection type. So for now we will use the single value. After that we have the option of multiple entries. Multiple entries means that if we want to give the user the flexibility to add more than one value, we can use this multiple entries. And then is mandatory. Is mandatory means if we check this, then it means that the user has to provide the value of this variable. Otherwise, the query will not run. If we do not select it, then it means that this variable is uh, optional to them. So if the user will not enter any value to this variable, still the query will run with all the values. So here we can specify the default value. If you want to give any default value, we can click here and we can give it as a constant or as, or as a expression. After that, we have this apply the variable filter to employee name. So we have this employee name because we have selected the attribute as employee name. Then we will click on OK and after that we will save and activate it. So first of all we will save and validate and then we will save and activate. And from here we can see the activation result. So the activation status is success. We can close it and then we can click on this display data. That is a data preview option. So now when we have clicked on this data preview option, so we have this variable value, variable window that will come up first where we have to select the value of the employee name. So here we have to select the value. So let's say if I want to give the value as JSON and then we cannot select the two value because we have given the single value. We have not selected the range. After that, we will click on OK. And we will be uh, able to see that only the 
data for json employee is fetched from this query so the filter for the employee name is selected here so this is how we can add the filter values for the end user queries in sap hana modeling views so in this tutorial we have seen how to create the variable or the parameter in the modeling view which the user will be selecting the values for at the runtime thank you